comments in the game? Well, well winning is better than losing. I said that after the exhibition game. Uh, it was a funny game, you know. It's you know, the season starts and you get seven minutes of power play the first ten minutes. Sometimes you're at a disadvantage. Uh, you like that power plays, but all of a sudden your best players are playing and you go in every other shift with your best players, and it's, you know, you're not really into a rhythm yet. So um, then we get the penalty. During the five on five minute major, major that we had the power play on, it kind of made that situation a little difficult. So, but I thought they took us took it to us in the first period. I mean, I thought we were a little bit surprised by their speed, their aggressiveness. I didn't think we matched it. Uh, I thought to start of the second period we did, and obviously we got three up in that seven minute stretch where we scored three goals. We were very opportunistic. Um, I thought after that we were sloppy. I thought we let the score dictate how we were going to play, but that's going to happen early in the season. Again, their urgency is a little bit more heightened when we get down 3 nothing, and then obviously our goal is outstanding. I mean, any time you give up 40 shots and you give up one goal, it's, uh, it's nice to have a great goal when we have two of them. So it was, uh, it was a great win. You know, the sign of good hockey teams is finding ways to win. And you don't play great. I think we played great tonight. Uh, I thought our effort was there physically, but I think we're going to be a little bit more purposeful uh, when we have the puck. Understand the situational hockey. You know, there, were, there were times when it was clear the right play was just to get it in their end and make a change or you know, read the situation or chip it behind somebody and we try to make a play. And we certainly want to make plays, but we want to make them at the appropriate time. I thought that kind of cost us tonight. I thought a lot of their chances were off turnovers. Uh, and we just we have to do a better job taking care of the puck, and we will. It's, it's until we're left. So, Coach, uh, a lot of you. You guys freshmen in the lineup, and a lot of guys you haven't seen play in person in a game that counts. Uh, so, what do you know about this team that you didn't know three hours ago? Well, I, uh, I know that we're going to be able to compete. We're going to try. To, we're going to overcome adversity. You know, I mean, they were taking the tools pretty good there for a stretch, and we kind of fended them off. You know, we, you know, we survived. And sometimes that's what you got to do in this game. Emotions and they down, they're up three nothing. Like I said, they elevate their intensity and they elevate elevate their pace of play. And I thought we got a little lackadaisical after we got up three nothing. And obviously, the first period of penalties, uh, the score, they, you know, that power play was a lot more productive than ours. They had 12 shots and they had four. So you know, obviously, we got some work to do on power play. Uh, our penalty kill was okay, not great. But again, like you said, we're youth. You had seven freshmen lined up on 18 skaters. Played a lot of minutes, so uh, I'm very happy that we're able to, you know, as we're finding our way and as we create our own, our own identity, it's nice to win hockey games in the process, and that's what we've been doing. How did you feel those freshmen played? In, in particular, you had five freshmen up front. Uh, how did you feel they played? I thought they did a good job. You know, they were inconsistent, which is usually what you're going to get out of freshmen. You know, I thought their effort was there every shift, though. It wasn't that they were lazy or casual, which is something we talk about. We're going to make mistakes, I understand that. It can't be because you're lazy or casual. I thought all of them, you know, any mistake they made, it wasn't because they were lazy or casual. I can live with that. You're going to have to live with that. You know? I mean, you, you got to look big picture here. And you know, I keep thinking to myself, I can't wait to you know, play tomorrow night, obviously, and then get back to practice on Monday because we're going to be a completely different team in the next two months. If we can win hockey games in the process, which I think we can, and I think we will, we're going to be in a great situation. How much can you really go over it? The one night uh, switch between tonight's game and Holy Cross's game, you talked a lot about uh, how much you want to improve your practice, but you don't have that much of a chance between tonight and tomorrow. Well, I'll watch every minute of every shift. You know, we'll have a little film session on. You can't kill the video, but you know, the one thing I think we're going to focus on is the situational hockey, understanding when to make a play, being aware of the situation. And, you know, this game will become a lot easier. Though we made it difficult on ourselves tonight, but we spent a lot of time on our end because when you give them the puck, Team like that, with the speed they have, they can, they can, they can, we defend it a lot, which is something we don't want to do. And you know, we keep working. You know, when we're talking about that in the coaches' room after the game. They, you know, I thought a lot of the chances came off turnovers, but once we got, once it was clear, it was a clear entry and it wasn't a broken entry. I thought we did a good job defending. You know, I thought we, you know, we got the people quickly. I thought we had decent sticks, not great sticks. And I thought a lot of the chances, the shots were on the 
perimeter. Um, but a lot of their chances were off turnovers, either at our blue line or their blue line, or we're in their end and make a blind, you know, a whole play in the offensive zone, and the referee really got caught rolling too often, especially a 10 minute stretch after we got 3 0. I thought they were really taking it too. So it was, became a little bit more attractive, which I, I don't mind that. It was almost a purposeful and responsible to talk. We'll play nothing in the game. You get a five on three tonight. I had a couple last week as well that you weren't able to convert on. What are you seeing from the team during those opportunities? Last week, well, Saturday's going to be able to pay attention because we didn't even talk about it. I thought a five on three, we had some great chances. I mean, it wasn't like we didn't have chances. I mean, we really I mean, we did the things that we were trying to do. I mean, we missed the net again. It's something we're going to have to really bear down on. But I thought a five on three, we controlled the puck. We, you know, we're moving it quickly. Still want to do it quicker, but I thought we were better at it. We had some great chances. I mean, there was an opportunity. Really make it difficult to demoralize them. We didn't do it, uh, but it wasn't from a lack of it. You know, we, we had chances. I, mean, I liked what I saw out of the five on three. I'd like us to hit another one and be more opportunistic. Ati had three assists tonight. What did you see from him? I thought Ati was much better tonight than he was Saturday. I thought he was more physical. I thought he kept his game simple. Um, you know, he's got great, a great skill set. He made some great plays. I think he made a great play on the first goal. Um, and you know, he's got a high skill set. He can play the pace and be physical. And when I say be physical, he doesn't need to run around and, and kill people. But the game presents plenty of opportunity to be physical. And if he does that, those subtle one-on-one -on -one that the fans don't really recognize, if he can be physical around the puck, he's going to be a very good player. And he is a very good player. He's going to give himself a chance to be dominant at this level. Play the next level. You mentioned the uh, uh, meritocracy system they have, and obviously Sam Parker uh, didn't play a lot of uh, you know, Sam, unfortunately, got two penalties in the offensive zone. Sam's a great player. He's going to be a big contributor to our team. Uh, but, you know, it's just can't have that happen. You know, it's something that we're going to have to really focus on. It's not just, you know, this game's hard enough five on five. You can't take offensive zone penalties. You know, it's something that we talked about as a team, and it really, there's no yell on the screen. It just, it, it can't happen. He's a good player. You know, I don't have a conversation. But we'll be right back at it. He's going to be a good part of our success this year. Is it? Oh, Robbie Pillard. Play. Robbie played well. You know, he's, he's got a, he's, I think he complements that line well. You know, he can really, he's got poise with the puck. I think he's, he's skating better. I think his intensity is better. He's being more physical. And again, it's his first college hockey game. I think he's going to bring future ones. Obviously, playing with a reading of Rodriguez. Is it hard to sit McGuire after the night he had? No. He had two great goals. It's, I don't expect it. We'll see him play great tomorrow night. Wayne, did the team save you the puck? No, oh, that's going to be addressed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mentioned your, your penalty kill was good, not great. Obviously, you have a lot of freshmen right. working out there on it. Uh, right. What, what is it you see from them that you know, it allows you to trust them on the penalty kill and makes you think there's you know, potential for them to... I just love their, I love their attention. I love their coachability. You know, not my but they, uh, they really want to learn. And they're really you know, they're, they're easy kids to coach. Really, uh, it's a fun group. It's a really fun group. I said to them, hey, you know, we didn't play great. This wasn't a beautiful oil painting tonight, but we got two points, and that's all that really matters. And again, it's a game of emotions, and it's a game of flow. And that seven minute stretch, we get three goals. And it's human nature. I kind of put a little bit in cruise control and think you're okay. And it's human nature on their end to say, oh boy, we better get going. And I think they turned up the intensity on their end, and ours dropped a little bit, and that's where you saw the discrepancy. No, I don't. I mean, you know, so I see Jack a lot. He's, he goes across the street. His office is down the hallway. We have a great relationship. And, you know, I saw him today. He uh, came down at about 6 o'clock in the locker room. And he said, was I can go to that Red Sox playoff game Sunday night, by the way. So I got tickets. I'm ready to go because I wasn't able to go to Bridgeman. So I, I have no idea. But, you know, he's, he's been outstanding. He's been a huge supporter.
All right, thanks.